currently starting some work on my canoe and what I'm going to be doing is uh, restringing my old seat. So I do have a new seat here that I could replace it with but if I do that I'll feel like uh, I'll have to replace the front seat because uh, the wood will be just two different colors. So what I'm going to do is uh, restring this with some new paracord and uh, maybe freshen up this wood a bit. I'll clean it up with some of this uh, Murphy oil soap for wood. And I'm going to restring it with some paracord. And I got a little bit of orange. I'm going to do something custom, something cool. Make it mine a little bit. So first off, what I'm going to do is use my X-Acto knife and just cut out all this old string and see what I'm working with. I pulled most of it out by hand, it's all broken, so. Most of it off. I'm gonna grab some pliers and pull out these staples here and then see what we're working with. All right, there we have it. It's pretty dirty, so I'm gonna uh, give this thing a wash. And then I'll uh, start restringing it. All right, so what I'm going to use to clean it is this Murphy oil soap. So I'm not going to use too much because I don't want to soak right through. I just want to clean all this stuff off the surface, all this dirt. So. I'm just going to use a towel and I'm just going to let the surface dirt off. Alright, so I got it all cleaned up and before I start restringing it, what I'm going to do is, uh, since these pieces are separating a bit, I'm going to kind of bend them over and just put a bunch of staples in there. It's still solid. so. All right, so I got some staples poking up a bit. Just gonna go grab a hammer and tap those down. And just make sure when you're stapling, you're stapling the bottom side, not the top side. There we go. Well, I mangled some of them, but you won't see that. So let's start restringing. I got black and orange. It's going to be mostly black with a few strands of orange in it just to make it uh, personalized. All right, so what I'm going to do to string this is I'm going to hold this one end. I'm going to staple this one end of it here, and then I'm going to feed the other end all the way through and then wrap it through this side and then back under and then back up through this side. And I'm going to keep pulling all of the paracord through. I got 50 feet. I'm not sure how much I'm going to need, so I'm just going to pull it all through and uh, cut it off when I get to the end. So I'll go this way, and then I'll cut it and staple it, and then I'll uh, go the opposite way. Sorry, this way, and then this way. 
And I think I'm going to staple as I go. So once I cross over, I'm going to throw some staples in there and uh, make sure it's nice and tight. So let's start this. I have a feeling it's going to take me a while. There we go, that should hold that in there. So let's start restringing this. Yep. It's gonna look good when I'm done. I'll uh, I'm gonna keep restringing, turn on some music, and uh, get back to you in about halfway. All right, so I'm about halfway done the one side on the first side that I'm doing and uh, it's actually going pretty good and what I've been doing is every time I get uh, one row done I pull it tight and staple it might be uh, overkill on the staples but this will hold up good so what I do is I pull really tight grab the staple gun and then I just take the hammer get down there and then I go on to the next one and I restring it through and it's going pretty good and they're all nice and tight so far so it's gonna look pretty good still has that old kind of look to it yeah it's gonna look good so I'm gonna restring this whole side and then I'll uh, show you what I do before I start the next side all right Coming up to the last one here, so I'm just going to pull this one tight, staple it like three times like I did to the other side. Tie a knot. I forgot a knot on the other side. There we go. Oh, that'll probably be good on its own. But I'm going to uh, tie a knot anyways. So there we have the first part all done. And now I'm going to cross through. Just a simple square pattern. But yeah. I got staples on all the sides there. So this is going to hold up pretty good. There we go. So I got this side all done, and now I'm going to, uh, all these small holes, I'm going to run the black through it again, and then these four bigger holes there, I'm going to run uh, orange in between, and I'll just uh, give a little bit of a custom look. No one else will have a seat like this, so yeah, it's turned out pretty good. Just with a regular old staple gun, some cheap paracord. All right, so the only difference with this side is I'm just going to have to weave it in and out of these. So I'll start. So same procedure, same process. Just got to weave it in and out. Once I get all this black done, I'll uh, show you what it looks like. But yeah, it's not going to take too long. Look at that staple jam in there. Perfect. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue that, weaving it through. Once you get all the black done, I'll show you what it looks like before I hit up the orange. I think it's gonna look good with orange. It should. Lay one right across here too. Looks ugly, but it's on the back side, the underside, so you won't see that. There, 
So now what I'm going to do is just uh, burn off these edges. And then I'm going to put some orange through here. And if it doesn't look good, I'll take it out. But that's a pretty good seat. That could be done right now. Let's customize it up a bit, though. So I'm all done. Looks all stapled up from the back, but it looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is take some linseed oil, rub it into the wood, add some moisture back into the wood. And then I'm going to put it back in the canoe and see how it feels. guys so there we go with a bit of paracord and uh, regular old staple gun this is what you can do you can restore your uh, canoe seat add a bit of a little custom color to it now we're gonna do the sit test see how it feels oh. yeah feels just like a regular regular canoe seat <coughs> so there you guys go like I said, it doesn't take much to do this. Um, get outdoors, enjoy life. Fix up your canoe. Restore the seats. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.